Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton from Bike 198. When I'm out on the trail, I want to be carrying the minimal amount of stuff that I can on the trail. Any extra weight is just extra energy that comes out of my body. So if I could just bring it down to the bare minimum that will get me through the ride and get me safely home, I'm going to do that. So today we are going to talk about my 13 must have items on every mountain bike ride. So let's get at it. So before we get started with this video today, please give a chance to like this video if you enjoyed it and comment down in the comment section below with what you carry on your rides after you watch my top 13. It really helps with YouTube and grow this channel, so I really appreciate it. So after that, let's get started. All right guys, so obviously number one here is going to be the hydration pack. This is the Evoc hip pack that I've been using for the past several months and has worked out really well for me because it's low on my back, it keeps away shoulder and back pain, and it's just big enough to carry everything you see here. It also takes bottles and a bladder. I'll put the full review that I did of this earlier up above, but it's also really good for any rides that are 20 miles and under, and if I need a little bit extra hydration, I'm able to put a bottle on the frame and that fixes that issue for me. So this is where we're going to be storing everything. So let's talk about everything else we have laid out here on the table. So obviously the first one we are going to be packing into this hydration pack, which is number two on this list, is the multi-tool. If you're going to have to make trail side repairs, there is nothing better to have with you because there are so many tools in a little compact form function that you can bury away in your hydration pack and pull out when needed. I typically like the Topeaks, like this Mini Pro, but Park Tool, Crank Brothers, there's several other ones out there on the market that do a great job as well. This is perfect for fixing your chain, tightening bolts, fixing any shifting issues while you're out on the trail so you don't get stuck out there because of a mechanical. So number three, wet wipes. Now it's pretty obvious, when you have to go, you have to go. And it's nice to have wet wipes with you and not a paper towel or have to use a leaf. But the side benefit of wet wipes is also being able to clean up cuts before you use some of the other things I'm talking about in this video so you can keep on riding the trail with some minor injuries. The other thing I like to do with these is get them out of their original packaging and put them in a Ziploc bag because it's a lot easier to keep them fresh instead of that little, you know, adhesive flappy thing that they put on those bags that never seems to work out. So I take a couple of them out, put them in a Ziploc bag and pack them away. They don't weigh anything and they don't take up any room. And it's really beneficial on the trail when you have that moment or the other moment. So number four, a spare tube. Now, obviously I've been running tubeless for a really long time now, but there are several things that this tube does for me out on the trail that are really useful. One, if you can't get a tubeless tire to reseat after a burp or a flat, this tube you could just drop in and finish out the trail like you would otherwise. Number two, it's also great if you get like leg gashes or anything, if you wanna tie this tube around your leg to stop bleeding from a bad gash. So it has kind of a double function here and it's really easy to pack into the pack and just slide it all the way down into the bottom and it just kind of stays away. It's also just good trail karma to have a tube with you out on the trail. If you see someone broken down who needs a tube to get home, you just freely give them that tube and give another one because at some point in time at the trail, you might need someone to give you one. So it just kind of flows downhill like that. And it's always a good thing to have around to either help out someone else, help out your body or help out your bike. Number five, a pump. I do carry CO2 with me out on the trail, but I've had two different situations where the CO2 tanks were actually empty when they were still sealed. They are not foolproof. The only foolproof way to refill your tire or your tube out on the trail is to actually have a pump with you. I try to carry the smallest version I can find. I do not want the extra weight, even for the extra volume, so that when I'm out on the trail, it takes a little bit longer to pump up the tube, but I'm not carrying around the extra weight when I don't need it. So yes, I'm trying to find the smallest one possible, but I always carry a pump because you can get stuck out there with some bad CO2 cartridges. The next item, a patch kit. I've been carrying this Dyna plug patch kit for quite a while now and it's worked out really well because it's so compact and it comes with spares that are actually in the package to fix those holes that you get in tires when you're running in a tubeless situation. As you guys know, if you get a hole in the sidewall, it's not going to hold air. So you need a patch kit to be able to fix that. And then if the patch kit doesn't and it still leaks, you still have the tube as a backup. So number seven is an obvious one and that's nutrition. Typically on rides that are anywhere between 12 and 15 miles, I basically bring these chews. 
There are enough to get the electrolytes I need and keep the ride going. If I'm going to go on a longer ride and need more food with me, I'll take things like this payday or a honey and peanut butter sandwich. There are a lot of options that are still lightweight and give you a lot of that nutrition that you need to keep your muscles going. But it's good to have enough with you to make sure that you can get through the ride without severe cramps or having a nutrition deficit issue that could keep you back on the trail. So number eight, an ID band, much like this one from my ID. Now this is especially crucial if you ride alone a lot in remote areas. If someone finds you, they're not gonna be knowing to dig into your phone for other information. They're going to call 911 and these EMS people need to know who to contact, what your allergies are, or any other special medical history. It's all captured in that band. They know to look for it. And it is great for when you can't relay that information to them, it is just better off in situations that can be really bad. So number nine, and this might seem like a dumb one, but a phone. Not only is it good for taking pictures and video out on the trail, but it also gives you a line of communication back to home or to emergency personnel should you need it. I've seen a lot of people riding without phones lately and it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Even this small pack here has phone storage in it specifically for that reason. It's always good to have a line of communication out and a GPS coordinate of where you've been. So number 10, these power lock chain link connectors. SRAM makes them, they fix your chain in a pinch if you ever need it out on the trail when it breaks. It's a whole lot easier than trying to make pins line up and align them with a little multi-tool. You basically just put the link in, let it stretch, and it fixes your chain out on the trail. They're incredibly light. They fit away in your pack really easily, and it's a very easy situation when you're out there with a broken chain. So number 11, tire levers. Now I actually carry these metal inserted ones from Park Tool that are a little bit heavier because my Schwalbe tires on a tubeless rim are a bear to deal with, especially trail side. But you can get away with ones that are just lighter like this, like Maxxis, if your tires get on a little bit easier. It is crucial to have tire levers when you are out fixing a flat on the trail. You do not want to try to be rip a tire off on these new tubeless setups that are a lot harder to get a tire on and off the rim. So number 12, zip ties. Zip ties can be used for just about anything, including trail side maintenance. So I always put several different kind of sizes in my pack. They do not weigh anything. They don't take up any room and they can be crucial when certain situations hit on the trail that you need to be able to tighten things down. These are a simple one that is incredibly cheap and very light and is much needed when you have an issue on the trail. So number 13, and this is actually one of my favorites. I carry super glue every time I ride. There are several reasons for this. One, it can be used to fix bike parts that break. Super glue dries quickly and holds a bond quick enough to get you home. But the second one, which is actually the most important, is that super glue is used to seal up cuts. There are many instances where you will go into the ER and they will actually glue you together instead of stitching you. Well, if you've got the wet wipes with you, you've got the ability to clean it up with water and you could fill it up with super glue, you can actually seal that cut trail side without getting infected which is huge. We've actually used this trail side on friends, myself, and several others. This is a great thing to carry with you. It's incredibly light, it's very small, and it is crucial to stop bleeding or steal, seal up a cut when you run into that wreck situation. So the cool thing, it's really light. It comes in a small package and it cleans up your cut almost instantly so you can keep on riding that day. It doesn't get much better than that. And it is probably what they would do for you at the emergency care center or at the hospital if it's a small enough cut. So it's always great to carry with you. You can get just any of the clear super glue and it's good for your body and it cleans it up quickly. So guys, that's my top 13 things to carry with you on every single ride that will get you in and out of the trail safely and without too many mechanicals. So bonus number 14 here is if you have any specific tools that are specific to your bike itself that it's not going to be on a multi-tool or anything else, especially with e-bikes, you run into keys and some little special keys. You need to have those with you as well. They're normally really small and light and you're able to pack them away easily. So I wanna hear from you guys. What do you carry with you out on the trail? Do you delete any of this, add anything? I wanna know down in the comments section below. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing to Bike198 for more tutorials, reviews, and tips like this for mountain biking. Until then, on to the next one and thanks guys, see you.